How did our journey start? How did it start? <laughs> it started at a wedding. <laughs> yeah, we met at a wedding. <laughs> and then she... And we didn't really care too much about each other. Yeah. Um, he... And then I added her on Instagram and then she sent me a long message. No, no, that's <laughs> not true. That is not true. I, I only said hi and then <laughs> I felt embarrassed to say that so I deleted it. Yeah, because you said hi with like a bunch of eyes at the end. No, like, I was just hi. <laughs> No, and then I said hi. that conversation started like it never stopped and uh, yeah then we eventually got married <laughs> well it wasn't like that but and then we, so we got her, engaged well, we, told we told our parents, our parents which and then we got engaged deal. and then COVID started and then we got married yeah we were expecting my dad to have a reaction so she was like I want to tell, tell my parents and of course, like telling was, your parents is a huge deal. Yeah, right. Indian so once parents. you tell your parents, it's like it's like done deal. Like you know, yeah. it's gonna you're gonna get married. She told her parents, and yeah, we and recorded our parents, which my, they don't know. My mom and dad were very, very happy uh, because they knew about her, her, her and her family. Um, but I think your dad was like my dad was a little like you know like how a typical dad is. He was very like interrogative, and he was like, oh, like how did you start talking? He was he had a straight face, and then after I didn't know what to think because I was like. I was so scared. I was I was sweating because <laughs> at the I remember at the end of the night when I left their room, my back was wet. <laughs> and I don't sweat like that. I was sweating. What did your mom say? My mom was like, "Acha, wo na jo apa ka bacha." I was like, "Yeah." And then that that was about it. She was like, "Acha, theek hai, log mein kuch chhe dikhe." I was only worried about my dad having a reaction. Yeah. But he was he had a better reaction than I expected. He he I've always my dad has very been very protective of me. So he had a nice reaction. After we told our parents, so he came for my graduation in Dubai. He visited Dubai to come around. We had like a long distance relationship because I was in Houston and I, I she was, was in, in Dubai. Dubai. And so that's why we were like talking on the phone constantly and video calling constantly. And then we met in Dubai. Funny story. So I took him to Burj Khalifa. Um, and it, I planned it in a way that it was sunset. We were at the top of the, you know, <laughs> top of the world kind of a thing. I wore a nice dress. I was like, okay, he's going to propose here. <laughs> I like mentally prepared myself, and he did not do anything. It was like we went up, we came down. I was like so sad. I had, I had, I had the ring done. with me too. <laughs> I had the ring with me too. I know. <laughs> you told me. <laughs> From Dubai, we came back to Hyderabad, and so in Hyderabad, like I had some friends here, and I started asking them where, are, like, some places that we can go. I want to do like a proposal, so I spent like a couple of days driving around looking at spots. My friend Aishu, her parents had just opened up this place called Chai Dukan. So I went there, I fell in love with the place and I asked Aishu and another friend Pooja like if they could help out with like decorations and um, 
Yeah, they just knocked it out of the park. We got there and it was beautifully decorated. They had flowers and lights and yeah. uh, we hired, I hired a photographer and, and camera crew. And he had a mic hidden in his uh, yeah. shirt. It was all like very well planned. And I got some like friends and other people to come in and it was really cool. And then right at the end, so we had like a, re I did a rehearsal with my friends. So I said, we're gonna play some music and we're gonna, I'm just gonna show her around like the entire uh, restaurant and introduce her to some friends along the way, just very casually. And when we get to a certain point, they're gonna play a song. And once they played the song, then uh, I like, you know, got down on one knee, did the proposal, and she said yes. <laughs> and so um, Aishu's mom was like, Aisha's mom surprised us and she she did fireworks. They did fireworks. Yeah, so right as soon after. as she said yes, they did fireworks and that was really nice. That was really cool. That was, was a surprise special. for me as well. Yeah, that's very special. <laughs> like a big crazy event because our wedding happened at the peak of COVID. Um, it was July 2020. We were the trendsetters of Zoom weddings. <laughs> our, our wedding was the first Zoom wedding. We had all of my family members from India join in on Zoom. They, they were all dressed up um, and they were all wearing their like nice outfits and then my uh, friends were joined in from Dubai. Everybody watched the wedding online, so it was very fun. On our uh, wedding rings, um, on his wedding ring, I got our wedding date engraved, and then after that, there's a hyphen. So that day to eternity, and we have eternity written, written on there. And so when he looked at it, he's like, eternity? Man, that's a long time. <laughs> and so I've been trying to get him. Usually vows are until death do, do us part, no, right? No, why? And, why? And now you've committed, you don't want, you don't you've want committed us to eternity. I mean, I'm just saying it's a long time. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think I'm happy. Definitely a lifetime is, is, is good. No, more than a lifetime. <laughs> what the heck? That's not fair. <laughs> My dad loves him more than he loves me. Yeah, he calls me. <laughs> first, it started off as amazing half. I was the amazing half. So it's not Oops. the better half. It's not the best half. It's, it's amazing the amazing half. half. And now he's turning super, super amazing half. <laughs> Masuma has been like a really great partner to me, and kind of getting to know her. Uh, and it wasn't. I didn't. I didn't. I no longer feel like I have to just be the one that take takes care of you, right? Like yeah. I feel like it's you like also you also take care of me, and uh, sure. there's a. There's a mutual respect and partnership. I think I've said this to him a couple of times before, but, um, and I'm gonna say it to him again. I think his family is amazing. And I mean, his grandparents, I think his parents and his grandparents and his sisters and the rest of his extended family, they're all like, very amazing people but I think um, the people that I I feel true kind of like you know the kind of like relationship that you have with somebody that you were like as if you were born into their family like you know if this was my parent I like I, I don't feel like it's uh, somebody else's parents I don't feel like it's his parents or his it's his grandparents I feel like they're my grandparents yeah. and my parents and it feels so overwhelming to think of it like that because I didn't think that I could love somebody the way I love my own family. I mean I thought that I would love and respect them a lot to a very high level but not as much as you know my yeah. own. 
um, because I just did not think that it was possible, humanly possible, because I did not grow up with them or anything. Yeah. But his family has been so welcoming, and especially his grandparents. I just keep like saying that because, <laughs> I mean, Ami, Baba, Vivi, they've been like very kind and generous people yeah. so far. And, um, I mean, I would say the same thing about like your family as well, right? Yeah. I mean, they've been. On both sides, I think without that upbringing, our relationship would not be what it is, and the kind of integration that we've been able to have between our families, and um, I mean that's that's just something that we're so tremendously blessed to have in our lives. Um, of course, there are several people who we dearly miss, uh, grandparents that we, grandparents and elders that we really really miss. Thank you all so much, honestly, from the bottom of our hearts. This has been um, a dream come true for us. And thank you for being a part of this with us. We love you all. Love you guys. Thanks. <laughs>